Hey guys, it's your girl Alicia. Um, today I'm going to be doing a product review on products that I've been using on my hair during my get healthy phase that I'm going through. I'm not sure if I am transitioning. I'm not sure if I'm just relaxed or stretching. All I know is that I've been doing a lot of cutting and a lot of um, uh, just special care for my hair and just trying to get it back up to health. I'm going to start off first with my shampoos. Um, in every regimen, you should have a good detangling shampoo. My detangling shampoo that I use is by Cream of Nature, and it is the um, Sunflower and Coconut um, Detangling Shampoo. Um, I really do recommend this. Um, it really does what it's supposed to do. However, if you can find the red label detangling shampoo, I recommend that more. Um, it doesn't contain sulfate. It detangles more. It conditions more. I enjoy the red label cream of nature better. I just couldn't find it. I know Sam's Beauty carry it, carries it and I actually just placed an order for some but until then I am using this one which is very good but at the same exact time the red label is a whole lot better. So I do recommend this as a detangling shampoo. Um, I use um, also for a moisturization shampoo um, I do recommend Herbal Essence Hello Hydration and as you see I don't have that much left this is very good with moisturizing the hair um, but this is a shampoo. very good moisturizing shampoo another shampoo that I use is by Made and Tail and it is the deep moisturizing shampoo um, I consider this to be a protein a um, a soft protein treatment to my hair because it does contain some different types of proteins and keratin there as well to build strengthen or um, strong hair so I really do recommend the main shampoo. Another shampoo that I use is the clarifying shampoo by um, uh, VO5. We all know about this. It really cleans the hair. It really takes away the buildup from the oils and the product that's on your hair. I normally go two rounds with this. It's very good. That's what it's supposed to do and it's extremely cheap. So you can find this at your dollar store, you can find it at Walmart, Target, wherever you go. Um, it's like 79 cents where I'm at. So it's extremely cheap and um, very good. Another shampoo that I've been using is the Shampoo for Damaged Hair by Afroji. Um, this also is a protein shampoo. However, this is a little bit heavier on the protein side. So it's not good to use on a day strengthening the hair as well as um, keeping it from breakage. So I recommend this if you are having breakage on your hair. Um, this is a very good product, okay? Okay, moving on. Um, for conditioners, what I use for like co-washes and plain conditioning um, I do really recommend Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. This is an excellent product for hair that needs moisturization. This moisturizes the hair. It makes my hair soft. It makes it easy to comb through. It maintains softness. It maintains um, the conditioning process. I really, really, really like the Hello Hydration. It has coconut milk as well as orchid. and. Um, let me see what does this say. It's good as a replenishing treatment. It makes your hair silky, smooth, manageable. And what it says on here is exactly what it does. I love this product. And I use this as my co-wash or my regular conditioner. What I use for a deep conditioner is by Neutrogena. It is the Triple Moisture. And this has three different types of conditioning oils, which is olive oil, which penetrates the center. It comes with metal foam seed which helps moisturize the middle and it comes with sweet almond oil which wraps the surface so um, I really like this stuff however this is much more moisturizing than this but what I do with this because this really penetrates the hair I actually make my own conditioner or create a, a, con a conditioning treatment which I use this I use different types of oils I use olive oil, coconut oil as well as a little bit of this I put in um, garlic as well as um, honey. I put honey. So um, this is the garlic that I put in. I use these um, garlic pills which look like this. They're just little gel caplets. And I just, I take about, I say, 10 of these things. Poke a hole, 
and squeeze it into my conditioner and then I also put in a um, couple teaspoons of honey I'll show you guys I'll do a tutorial on how I make it it's very 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 moisturizing and it helps with um, the, the garlic actually helps with shedding that um, just so I don't have shedding because um, you don't want shedding on your hair and then the honey actually works with manageability it works for shine like I said I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys showing you guys this but um, that's what I do to my hair I keep it on overnight and I wash it out in the morning and I mean my hair is very soft and manageable and very well conditioned so I very much recommend this as well as adding in different things that suit your hair another um, conditioner that I absolutely love is the ores which are these replenishing packs um, this is also a soft protein treatment it um, um, creates strength to your hair as well as manageability and softness it comes with um, your um, dosage of your olive oil these are some protein treatments that I use every once in a while which is Afro G line um, two-step protein treatment as well as the treatment for damaged hair which actually goes really well with the shampoo for damaged hair um, I also use the balancing moisturizer which I don't have anymore um, I use it all I think I threw away the container but these are um, hard protein treatments these aren't really recommended to use every week so I do recommend adding this into your regimen as a great protein treatment however don't use it too much because um, know your hair you don't want to be adding protein if you don't need it okay okay I am in search of a good leave-in conditioner so if you ladies know of any really good leave-in conditioners please let me know the conditioner that I've been using the leave-in conditioner I've been using is by Cream of Nature and it is the lemongrass and rosemary um, leave-in um, don't care too much about this product whenever I put it on my hair it feels like it's just sitting on top of the hair rather than penetrating the hair um, I need to try some other kind I was recommended Paul Mitchell um, which I do want to try it's just very expensive but if you know anything if you've tried mixed chicks or if you know if any other ones that are really good please let me know I think every regimen needs a really good extra virgin olive oil so um, it doesn't matter what brand you have um, I um, have this stuff which is extra virgin um, it's very good on the scalp and everything I did a blog I did a, a review um, uh, olive oil versus coconut oil and I love olive oil olive oil was what I always recommended beforehand but then I got a chance to try some coconut oil and I love coconut oil it took over um, this is the coconut oil that I am using it is virgin coconut oil and 100% um, organic I got it from tropical traditions ladies if you haven't tried this try it I absolutely love this stuff I mean the olive oil is good don't get me wrong I still love my olive oil but I love coconut oil and then um, the coconut oil that I'm using is for hair treatment so if you go to this website they have different types of coconut oil and um, the one that I have is actually for the hair so I adore this go to my blog I have did a review already on this I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because the benefits are very 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 well um, with comparing of these two I love coconut oil it is my favorite hair oil by far another oil that I've been using um, is clove oil which I got from the GNC store and I've actually purchased this for my teeth because it's a very good um, uh, like an antidote or um, it numbs my, my pain that's in my teeth that I normally come across when I get a toothache but then I was doing research on it and it was it was told to be um, it was said that this can actually promote growth and when I do I put this in my deep conditioner sometimes and um, it actually um, makes my hair feel a little bit like when I use Dr. Miracles it makes my hair tingle I can feel it so um, this is very good and like I said it promotes hair growth and it smells it smells very strong it smells like cloves so um, it doesn't stink but it's very 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 strong so um, I do recommend using this oil okay okay another thing that I've been actually using um, once I run out of this I'm probably not going to restock um, but I do like and I do want to recommend it and it's Megatech so um, I've been seeing a lot of growth using Megatech however um, 
I've done my research and my reviews through the past and a lot of people have said that it makes their hair shed. I haven't noticed very much shedding on my hair but that's because I do use garlic in my regimen. Um, so what works for me may not work for you or vice versa, I don't know. But um, I have been using this for like the last almost two years. I purchased some of this early last year and um, I'm on my last bottle and once I run out I'm probably not going to restock but um, it's done its course, it's done very well. I, what I do is I put it in an application bottle and um, I put in coconut oil, olive oil, I put in a little bit of moisturizer and I shake it up and I just put it into the scalp and I just do one of these numbers to it absorbs in. I don't rinse it out immediately, I actually put it in on wash day you know, massage it in and I keep it in until my next wash day and um, I think I've been seeing pretty good growth using this so I do recommend it however once it's gone it's gone I'm not going to get any more okay alright so on to the actual product that I've actually used for my hair and these products that I use I absolutely love okay this right here is my new favorite the S curl no drip activator moisturizer I love this stuff what I do is I spray it just on my new growth and I just do like this and I kind of just massage it in like that and I mean I can take it I can take a comb and just go right through it just like that it just detangles it feels almost like a leave-in almost I love this stuff very 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 much a little goes a long way you don't want to saturate your hair in this because it, then your hair will start to feel a little bit tacky you don't want that so just a little bit like one couple little sprays and then go like that and it moisturizes and after I do that I put a little bit of the wave nouveau on it and I just put it on the new growth and I kind of um, touch a little bit of the um, relaxed hair with it as well and I just go like that and let me tell you this it softens my hair so good I mean just softens it the coils of my hair or the waves start to um, create a pattern I, it, I guess it defines it a little bit and like when I brush my hair in a ponytail you can see like these waves in my hair that's just gorgeous and I love this stuff so much it makes my hair soft and then this right here I got this because the product that I was normally using was sold out love this stuff and this is Palmer's olive oil formula the moisturizing hair milk I love this I put this on the relaxed portion of my hair and let me tell you guys this it just moisturizes very well it makes my hair soft when I comb the hair it just goes right on through and it stays there using these products right here normally when I was using my um, other ores moisturizing hair conditioner I had to I had to moisturize twice a day to once a day. Using these products, I can go on and just moisturize once every two days if I wanted to. Okay, these products work very well with my hair. This is for the natural and this is for the relaxed portion, and it works excellent. I wouldn't steer you guys wrong for anything. But like I said, what works for me may not work for you. Let me know you guys take on these products. But I love these product very 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 much okay so I put this on my hair and then I feel with the coconut oil as well as I oil my scalp with the coconut oil as well I, I go ahead I put in the application bottle and I just go in I'm going to do a tutorial on all of this stuff so look for that soon but like I said I soak my coconut oil as well as moisturize the scalp with it and I love it and I break my hair up and it just stays there I love the pro these products right here. These have made my uh, re my relaxing stretch very successful. So these products you have to try. You know, if you um, care for this, try that. Try the Wave Nouveau. Try the Palmers. Try the coconut oil. These have made my relaxing stretch very successful, and I'm glad to be able to tell you guys that. Okay. But anyways, ladies, that's gonna do it on my review. Hopefully, this video isn't too long. But if you have any questions, if you have any recommendations for me, or um, any comments about anything, please let me know. I will get back to you guys. Um, and like I said, please check out the blog. I have more in-depth reviews on these products, and also I have the comparison for the coconut and olive oil that you guys should check out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.